Welcome Gemini's. I'm back y'all with another video. So if you are new to my channel, go ahead and consider clicking the subscribe button. You aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. All right. So I'm going to let you guys know what's going on on, the ch on this channel for the month of February. I'm choosing five lucky winners. Okay. Um, you have to order from the website as well as you have to book a personal reading form from me to be entered into this drawing. I'm choosing five people, five people, okay? I will be contacting you via email um, and you can book a personal reading with me for free or you can get a free product, okay? So that's what I have going on on this channel, guys, as far as giveaways, all right? So go ahead and head over to the website once you watch this video. As well, guys, book a personal, all right? So you will be entered into a drawing. I'm choosing five people. You get to choose to get a free reading or you can get a free product from the website you choose, all right? So let's talk. Let's see what we got going on for my Gemini's. For the remainder of February, um, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South Node, North Node. All right, it's a general read, so it may or may not resonate. Resonate. Ugh. Mercury retrograde got my communication a little bonkers, but we're going to make it through. All right, so Gemini's, let's talk. Also, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I've been getting donations from you guys. Nothing goes unnoticed. I read all of the comments. I comment back on some of the comments. You know, I try to stay, um, I'm very in tune with my channel. I read every single comment. I literally read every single comment on here. All right. Um, make sure you're hitting the like button so we can stay in the algorithm. Y'all know faith. I'm getting ready to say Facebook. Um, YouTube has a rhythm. So like the video, guys, so it can get to other viewers. As well as share with your family and friends. You never know who may need to see this, okay? So let's talk, Gemini's. Let's see what we got. What messages are there for my Gemini's, please? For the remainder of February. All right, so we got the High Priestess here at the bottom of the deck, um, as well as the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. I'm feeling like y'all feel like y'all will be. Um, Y'all going to be straight regardless. Somebody's offering you to come back or for a second chance. But I feel like if you go back to this situation, this situation was real petty and could have possibly been like extremely, like I'm just getting like um unbeneficial, not beneficial for you. And that's the reason why you walked away. Okay. Some of y'all had to start over from scratch. So somebody could be asking you to come back or they want a second chance. Y'all know we in that retrograde season. Y'all already know what time it is. All right, we got the seven of pentacles, the devil, <laughs> the page of pentacles, uh, the nine of cups, the hermit, eight of swords, death, lovers, Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting Capricorn. And I see Gemini here as well. I feel like you're being extremely patient, patient, or you've been extremely patient. I feel like you're losing patience. You've lost patience. Okay, let's see why we got a Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody here could be a Leo. Somebody here um, wants to find balance with you. Could be dealing with a, um, a Virgo towards Capricorn. But I feel like you guys have been manifesting. I feel like you guys have been made have made the changes, have made some very beneficial changes. Okay. Spiritually, physically, mentally, uh, especially financially here, you've manifested um, greatness for yourself, okay? You've manifested something here. Stability, okay? You've manifested stability here. 
Um, somebody here wants to work on this partnership now that they see that you got things together. And somebody here is like regretting that they let something good go. You knew this person was going to come running back. <laughs> you knew it. You know, you're like, yeah, you, where you going to find this at? You ain't going to find this. You ain't going to find this nowhere. Nowhere, honey. We got the devil here. It could be a Capricorn. But this situation was toxic. And somebody was extremely controlling. <laughs> could be a baby daddy, a baby mama. Like I said, it could be a Leo here. You know them Leos are controlling. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> But this person is has control issues, okay? Somebody here got control issues. It could be y'all too. Y'all know how y'all is. But <laughs> I'm just playing. We got the sun here and the four of pentacles and the four of cups. Lots of fours, okay? Um, but you weren't happy in the situation that, that I feel like you were holding on to. You finally find the courage to step outside of your comfort zone and do something different. You have provided yourself with um, stability or you're working towards that. And now somebody here um, wants back in. Could be a cancer. We got the page of pentacles and the chariot here. You're, you're progressing. Your goal, you got goals, okay? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so there's an offer here. Someone wants to give you something here. Somebody wants to give you something. Oh, they want to give you their emotions and their feelings. Things that they've been hiding. Their emotions that they've been hiding. Could be a King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this person communicates very poorly. Okay. Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yep, somebody wants a second chance. This could be you. Or this is someone around you, but you know, Mercury, virtual gray, bring them X's back. Somebody definitely wants to, wants to second go round. You know, they played around. There was some disagreements. Somebody wants to come out of conflict with you. Could be a Virgo here. We got the Hermit. But you distanced yourself in the past from this, from this situation. Yeah, you cut it off. Ten of Swords. You cut this situation off and a relationship ended. Two of Cups, you ended this relationship. You put some distance between it. But you knew that this person was going to regret uh, you finding out the truth. Their true colors just seeped through. <laughs> Their true colors just just came out. And you cut that relationship off. And you did, you've, done, you've done better. You've done the work on yourself. You're doing the work on yourself. And you've manifested stability. Um, and now this person wants back in. Okay? Future energy, it looks like... Um, there's a period of, of thinking about this. I feel like you're actually thinking about this. Um, you're waiting to see. Um, you, you, you're just waiting to see, like, do I have that urge to want to give this person another chance? I feel like you're spying on this person. Okay, this is my detective energy. Page of Swords in the Moon could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you're spying on them. Like, you're spying on them. You're looking on their social media. You're, you know, you're asking people about them. Whatever the case may be. But you want to see, like, their true feelings, okay? Because this person may have been extremely controlling and uh, could have been too straightforward and too reckless with their communication before. So you're just kind of, like, trying to get a peep. Let's see what's going on first. I feel like with the death card here, there you have transformed, okay? You've, you're you transforming. You've already started working on you. Um, and you're not really interested in, in the back and forth, the mind games, the playing that this person has to offer. You're not really interested. We got you as the four of cups. Um, you, don't, you don't need any surprises. You're not looking for this type of energy, no battling, no going back and forth, this cold hearted energy. You're not, you're not interested in that. But this person sees you as very uh, positive and moving forward. You took some type of leap of faith. Um, and here they come rushing back towards you. Yeah, here they come. They coming back. They back. They dropping everything. <laughs> they dropping everything to come towards you and they they want you to forgive them and move on from the bs that they started and what they did to you they want you to move on from that and get them another chance honey now right, we got that three of cups oh there's some gossiping you fear of what others would be saying about you if you were to let this person back in 
Let's look at this. The page of swords and the three of cups, that's gossip. That's hearsay. That's, that's oh, she said, I heard, he did, she did, he did, she did. That's that, okay? You tired of it. Why is the, yeah, see, the ace of swords and the truth being revealed. So, ooh, see, yeah, somebody petty ways done came out. You you kind of fear the truth, um, that uh, that the truth is all over the place. Like, you know, what? how would people view you? How would people look at you if you were to take this person back? This person put you through a lot of sh put you through a lot of crap. Right now, I feel like you're stable. You're working on your bag. Um, I feel like you miss this person, but I feel like you. I don't know. Like we got the moon and the king of cups. Like this, somebody, maybe you're masking your emotions or this person is masking their emotions. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you feel like you, this person has suffered enough. Um, I'm not sure if some of y'all are considering taking this person back. I do feel like some of you guys could be, have more than one person already. Somebody, you could be juggling. Um, so you got options. Okay, somebody here definitely wants to make it work, though. Some of y'all are going to say yes. Some of y'all going to say no. But some of y'all going to say no because we got the world and that's a cycle being completed. And you got tired of all of this. And for those, I remember Gemini's reading being extremely uh shocking and there was a lot of um trauma and a lot of disagreements and a lot of arguing and, and things to that nature y'all have some of y'all have put that that energy to rest that's over and done with but i feel like some of y'all may decide to like entertain this just to see but um a lot of y'all are like no hell no hell no, hell no. <laughs> and for those of you who are saying, who are like, no, 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 I want to actually, I'm gonna go a little deeper with this because for my Gemini's, I like to give y'all a little bit more care and attention. It's because I just feel like y'all need it. I feel like y'all went through a really, really rough patch, and y'all are crawling y'all way up out of something. I just don't want y'all to just. I don't want y'all to go back to anything that's abusive or verbally abusive, emotionally abused. Like, I don't want y'all to go through any of that. Okay, so let's dig a little bit more. I want to get a mutual energy. How does Gemini and Gemini's person, what's the mutual energy between the two currently? Yeah, see, both of y'all know that there was some deception going on. Okay, both of y'all know that some there was some lies, some cheating, some sneaking, some backstabbing. Somebody was wearing a mask. Okay, how does Gemini feel? Okay, we gotta pay attention to the red flag. See, you already don't trust this person, and this person is controlling. Okay, and you feel like you deserve more than that. How does this person view Gemini? They feel like they're separated from their soulmate. Okay, so they feel like, you know, there's been a separation, but they feel like you are their soulmate, okay? And they're willing to wait. They're, they're, they've been waiting on you. They've been waiting for you to come back around. They've been waiting for an opportunity to get you back around them, okay? Um, let's see what the best advice is. advice for Gemini's please best advice for Gemini's uh, meditation brings answers okay so there's something here 
And see, we got to communicate clearly and listen to your intuition. But communicate clearly is in the reverse. So somebody has communication, like, they don't communicate very well at all. Um, and your intuition is telling you something. And if you if you take the time to see here and think think about this situation or meditate on this situation and ask for uh, guidance and um, ask for, you know, clarity on the situation, you're going to get it. Okay. Choose a new direction. I'm telling you. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Choose a new direction, okay? These are for the ones that's like been through this already and that chapter is over and done with. Choose a new direction because I feel like you're ready for something new, okay? So that's going to be the message that I have for my Geminis, all right? So you guys, be sure to check out my website, um, book a personal reading, guys, so you guys can be entered into the giveaway. And thank you guys so much. None of y'all comments go unnoticed. None of you guys shares and um a lot of people have been donating to the channel thank you all i see everything that's being done and how you guys are putting energy back into me so thank you guys so much for the love and support i'm gonna chat with y'all on another note ciao for now